And we are just using uh, my, the, the pastor friend of mine, you know, just lent me his office and uh, borrowed the office for church services. And I uh, thank the Lord for six months we were there using that office uh, of, my, of my friend to be a mission, you know, mission place. And from that time on, I, I, I prayed to God, I was praying to the Lord, I want to enlarge. So the Lord, Lord brought me into uh, one of the places in the city and we rented a, a building, a, 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 a space. And thank God, we enlarged. Not only we enlarged our ministries, we enlarged also in number. At the such time, the Lord gave, bring, brought us to, to the place where we are now today and gave us a complete building. Enlarge, expand. So I mean, it involves, it involves, first of all, first of all, prayer. It involves plan. It involves vision. Amen? Vision. Expand. And, and the Bible says, the Lord is also encouraging the disciples. He said, when He said, occupy till I come. It involves, it involves uh, participation. It involves uh, being busy. Serving the Lord. Occupy till I come. And sometimes, my dear brethren, we are too selfish in our consideration about the Lord's ministry, about the Lord's work. And God was teaching us to have the right focus in our, in our lives. He said, looking at the Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, let us work something which is long-lasting, you know, that will last long in eternity. Let us, uh, let us do something in this, in this life, in this world, uh, you know, to, to involve the Lord's work, which is long-lasting, and that is winning souls for the Lord Jesus Christ. Expand, enlarge. One time, the disciples were, were having trouble uh, about not having fish. They taught on the night. And when the Lord, you know, saw them, they thought nothing. But you know what? In the midst of their frustrations, the Lord, you know, uh, the Lord was there and just, just encouraged Peter, uh, Simon Peter, and the rest of the disciples who been with him in a uh, whole night of fishing. And the Lord said, launch out into the deep. Launch out into the deep. Enlarge. Do great things for God. A quotation said, Good, better, best, let us, let us never rest until our good is better and our better is best. Amen? Enlarge. When I was in California uh, two weeks ago, we just arrived on March uh, 14, and uh, I, I was praying to the Lord in the United States, Lord, use us. We are not English speaking people, but Lord, please use us. And I was able to officiate, uh, you know, I was able to talk a lady, a, a Filipina la lady, in one of the hospitals in Moreno Valley, and I shared to, to her the gospel. You know what? She not, she was not uh, she was not saved there in, in our country. She was a, a Catholic then. Uh, she did not believe about receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because, as she was saying to me, that she always received Jesus Christ every day. But you know what? Receiving Christ is once and for all in our life, and the faith, you know, will grow deeper and deeper. And in the Lord. Amen? But anyhow, this lady, when I shared to her, Romans 3, 10, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3, 23, for all have seen and all shared the, the glory of God. I shared to her about the love of God. And after 15 minutes sharing, I asked her, would you like, would you be, would you be willing to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior? And she said, preacher, I'm willing. It's good to it's good to minister people who are there lying in bed in the hospitals. You know, they are they are really their hearts really are close to God. <laughs> are close to God. They want to be closer to God. And it's the right time for her to hear the good news. Why? Even in the United States, I want God to use me. I want God to use me. Okay? I want to, to occupy uh, God's work. Till the Lord returns. Secondly, secondly, and by the way, in the great home bus, one lady uh, sat uh, beside me. I, I tried to ask her a question that, uh, uh, where do you go to church? And uh, I start, you know, I started to mention about the love of God to that lady. It's a black lady. 
And you know what? And suddenly he said, because she said to me, Richard, I'm a Baptist too. <laughs> so since she was saying, saying to me that she was a Baptist, and you know, I am trying to stress to her about the, the assurance of salvation. Are you sure, sister? Are you sure, sister, that when you die, you'll go to heaven? And she said, of course, preacher. Of course, because I have Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, to, you know, to my, uh, uh, to my surprise, you know, to my surprise that I was praying, Lord, before I'll be on board. In the Greyhound bus, Lord, give me somebody. I don't know the place. And it's 20 hours travel from Bailey, West Virginia, coming to uh, New York. 20 hours is longer than Philippines to, to California. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the truth. Okay, longer than 18 hours straight flight from Philippines to California. To, yeah, and that's 20 hours. Oh my, I had, I had a back pain. <laughs> I'm too old. And I thank God, thank God, Richard. It, it will be my uh, almost three. It will be my three weeks now. I gain already two pounds. <laughs> my waistline. <laughs> and praise God, food here, food there, everywhere. Food. But anyhow, God is encouraging us this morning not only to enlarge but to lengthen, to lengthen thy ports. But before that. Stretch forth the curtains of thy habitations. You know what I believe that true peace, true, true contentment can be found only in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what? As, as people of God, every day, don't you just do not know that you touch people, people's lives. By your words, by your actions. We touch people. Amen? Amen. <coughs> And there are people who look up to us. There are people who always uh, adhere to the words that we say. There are people that are very, very observant about us because they because they saw something different from us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We help people to be saved. We help people to have the real rest. We help people to get. And that peace belongs to God. There is a peace that surpasses all understanding. When we found Jesus, the peace with understanding is here, it's there in your hearts. Amen. Lengthen the course. What does it mean, preacher? You know what? When we put up ten, okay, usually in our country we, we don't use ten in our, you know, uh, worship center. We just use stands in our in our camps, youth camps. Then if you if you imagine when you put a tent, you know, put up a tent, you need to consider I think four rooms. Okay? Four rooms. Then you need to consider four seats or states that was mentioned in the Bible. And you know what? <clears throat> you need if, if you want to have a strong tent you know, ten, you need to have to make it tight. You make it tight. And this consider sacrifice. When you do things seriously, when you make things, you know, from your heart, you need to have sacrifices.